Hi, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and good Sunday morning, everybody. Are you ready to make a super cute candy cane holder from Scissor Tail Stitches? I know that you are, and you're gonna have a lot of fun today because this is an easy project, and much like popcorn, you can't just have one piece. You wanna keep making these little guys. I have a whole tree full of them next to me, and today we're gonna to be making the little bunny. I think you're really gonna like making it because first of all, the bunny is super cute and it's relatively easy. You're gonna need your large hoop and some other supplies. So let's get started. Let's take a little minute to talk about the supplies that we're gonna need to make our super cute candy cane holder. So the first thing that you're gonna need is the instructions. So uh, this is not really the instructions, it's the color separation chart, but this comes on the PDF that is loaded either on your USB stick, your CD, or available for download at embroideryonline.com or scissortailstitches.com. Okay, for those of you new to uh, Scissor Tail Stitches, you can visit them at scissortailstitches.com. I'm right there right now. And um, I'm going to look for our cute little candy cane holders. Now, the name of this collection is Holiday Huggers. And there is the whole collection. Now you can, of course, buy designs one at a time here, but you all have actually received your um, design. If you bought the kit already, you already got all of the designs in with your kit because we included the um, the designs. But if you just want to quickly go online and see the designs and you want to download the sewing information. The sewing information comes on the CD and the USB stick, but you can also get it here and just click on the preview. And then you can print this out and it gives you all of the threads that the folks at Scissor Tail Stitches use to stitch out the designs. And it also shows you all of the sewing information for each of the designs. And then you can see our little bunny. That's the one that we're gonna stitch out today. This is a nine color change design, but I have seven colors over here. So I've made, I've either repeating some colors or I've made some substitutions. So the blue green for the felt placement is also gonna be the same blue green that we're gonna use for the last stitch. So that's one color. We do have red for the scarf, white for the body, a silver for some detail, uh, pink for the ears and or ears, feet and cheeks, and the earmuff green I'm also using for the buttonholes, and then my black face detail is the charcoal gray that I'm using. So that's the thread. I'm using OESD embroidery bobbin thread in this project. We're also going to need a buttonhole cutter that you see here. And this is a set from Nifty Notions that we carry here at Bernina of Naperville. It comes with a little all it comes with a buttonhole cutter and it comes with the cute little apple core that you use to cut the buttonholes on i'm also using so if you got a kit you got the uh, cutaway stabilizer and you got some felt you should have gotten enough cutaway stabilizer and felt to make three candy cane holders and um, i've cut my felt piece i've taken the sticker off and i've cut the felt piece in half because these are going to be enough to make the front and back of the candy cane holder and then I've already hooped up my cutaway, one layer of my cutaway stabilizer. And then I'm going to need my Karen K. Buckley longer blade scissors to cut this out when I'm done. But I also want to make sure that I always have my little curved snips handy whenever I do embroidery. All right, here we are at our Bernina 790 Plus Special Edition. See that fancy etching design there? That means that it's fancy and it's special. But anyway, so I am carrying over my thread chart that I'm gonna need and my design, I loaded it on my USB stick. See the little bunny? That's the little bunny, we're gonna make him. 
But what I want to do, I'm not going to resize. I'm not going to do anything like that. But I do want to change the colors because sometimes I want to make more than one. And then I make them, you know, a little time passes. And then I forget which colors that I used. So let's go ahead and make these changes. So we're going to click our thread color button. And the first color is not going to be black. It's going to be color number 522. So I'm going to use the little search arrow and do 5220. I'm going to go back to my thread palette. Now I'm going to pick color number two, which is going to be red. And it's 1902, that poinsettia red. And now I'm going to go back to color number three, which is white. I didn't change that. Didn't change the silver body color, but I did change color number five to a little bit pinker color, 2532, pretty and pink. All right, and now color number six. So the green one's fine. And then for the black, I'm just gonna change that to a slightly different color. I'm using 132, dark pewter instead of black. And then don't forget to always click that little palette once you've chosen a color and changed it. It'll make your life easier. And now I'm going to go back to my 5833 in Lima Bean for, for this one. And then finally, for my outer one, it's going to be the same as the first color. So I feel pretty excited that there is what our bunny is going to look like. So I'm ready to stitch it out. I'm going to thread up color number one and I'm putting on my isocord thread and I'm using my little smallest spool cap to hold that on there. I just love these needle threaders. They work so easily. All right, color number one is loaded up. I'm going to hit my little start button. It moves it down into the right position. Now I'm just gonna lay my mint felt into position and start stitching. Now it's time to stitch red. Before we proceed to the last color, before we make our buttonhole cuts, can we talk about this bunny's cute little teeth right there? Oh my God, I think that he's so cute. I just wanna, ah. all right. Gonna stitch this color, then we're gonna cut our buttonhole.
Look, look at the teeth one more time. Look at those teeth. Okay, well, it's time now to cut the buttonholes and we're gonna use the apple core and the buttonhole cutter. Chop, 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 chop. So we're gonna place the apple core right under here. And I'm just gonna use the palm of my hand to push down on this guy. There we go. One. Two. Before we put our hoop back on the machine, we're going to take our little piece of felt and cover up the back side so everything looks neat and tidy back here. And I'm using a little bit of this uh, OESD tearaway tape to hold it onto the back. Sometimes this is nicer than trying to spray adhesive on the piece. And then sometimes if I'm feeling really cheap, I can reuse the tape. All right. Now I can turn it upside down without it falling off and putting uh, and put it on the machine. All right, I'm putting the hoop back on the machine. Okay, I'm gonna put on my green thread. This is the last color. So this is the last time I'm gonna use any colors on this. And I, once again, I'm using that little small spool cap. And then I'm gonna follow the rest of the threading. This little dude. It's done. This step is pretty easy. I'm just gonna cut, leaving about an eighth of an inch around my bunny. And a friend of mine who once did scrapbooking told me you should always turn your work and not your scissors. that it's easier to be precise with your cutting. Like you gently use your scissors to slowly squeeze and you turn the paper or your work, in this case, your bunny. Oops, I missed a little spot under there. There we go. Okay. Just almost done here. All right, now I'm gonna show you something extra. Remember this little extra hole puncher that we got with our buttonhole cutter? Well, I'm gonna use it to make a little hole right between the bunny ears and now I'm gonna feed some homemade floss through this. All right, it starts with an empty bobbin. And did you notice that your seven, nine, even your eight series bobbins have these little holes in them like that? Well, we're gonna use these today. We wouldn't use these necessarily for actually winding a bobbin, 
but I've taken about 20 strands of isocord right here and I'm gonna twist some thread. And then this is about a yard. So I'm just balancing the bobbin on the bottom. Okay, ta-da! All right, now the magic happens. I put the bobbin, disco down on the bobbin winder, and then I'm gonna hold my thread up in the air like this as I engage my bobbin winder. And I'm gonna let it twist, then I stop. It's got a lot of spring to it. Then I'm gonna pop my bobbin off and bend my thread in half. And see how it got all twisted together like that? All right, so that's gonna be my little hanger. And you're just gonna cut the rest of the bobbin off. So then I tied it off there just temporarily. And now I'm going to fish it through my little bunny ear hole thing. All right, I have my little hanger and then I can insert my little candy cane. There we go. Super cute and ready for the tree. Oh, and we have the perfect little spot right there. I love him or her. Well, I'm not sure I really need this thing to hold my candy cane, but you know, to each his own. See, I told you you'd love making this little guy. Now I need to just give him a name. So cute. Well, thank you for joining me today. And don't forget, we have a lot of other ones of these cute little projects that we're going to do on Sunday mornings while you pick up your kit from Bernina of Naperville and then join us watching a video. But until then, also check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And we like to be liked. We love to hear what's on your mind. And we also like it if you could subscribe to our channel. Even better, after you subscribe, if you click the little bell, you'll get an alert every time we upload a video like this one or some more of our other videos. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Don't eat too many candy canes, and I'll see you next time.